welcome back to the Saturday Night Live Weekend Science Update. We're coming from you from Down Under, where the news is news to us because we're on a different time zone, all right? So all of these we've never seen before, these headlines that we're covering today. Uh, now let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, what's that first headline for us? Yeah, all right. The first one up is a right proper headline. Humans are evolving extra ar artery in the forearm. That's uh, right. Humans for too long have been restricted in blood flow. What we need is more blood, all right? And part of that is getting an extra artery, all right? It's like putting a turbo system in your, in your car. That's right. This is, uh, this is evolution thinking ahead. You can't just uh, make a new room and not have uh, air conditioning go into it. In this situation, uh, whenever you see new arteries and blood vessels get created, it's likely going to happen that there's going to be a, uh, a new brain growing out of your arm. So uh, look forward to that. Extensive renovation project, all right? You're gonna, we're jumping into it, and we think we know what we're doing, but as we get into it, we realize maybe we don't know if this wall is structural or not. We take it down anyway. We start getting cracks. It's going to be an interesting process, but ultimately we've got the resolve to finish it out and have a reasonably uh, well-looking garage conversion unit, but in our own. That's all right. All right, let's get on to the next headline. Fastest event ever recorded took 247 zepto seconds. That's right. Now, uh, before this ever recorded event happened, a zepto second didn't exist. Uh, scientists had to create a brand new type of second to even measure this event that occurred, and apparently there was a 247 of them. That's right. And the reason they went, of course, with zepto seconds, uh, because Z is the last letter of the alphabet, and this is something that was done at the last second. Uh, as you know, a lot of the times with time, time works kind of funny. Uh, you know, when you have a lot of time, it works differently than when you have just a little bit of time left. You know, uh, you're about to try to turn in a paper, right? And in those last seconds, those are the fastest ones. So a zepto second, the Z seconds, uh, are incredibly quick, but they're very important. That's right. And this is also evidence for why uh, humans are evolved and that we weren't created by a higher intelligence because uh, this is something created by man. This is something uh, created and we didn't think too far in advance. We've went straight to the end of the alphabet and there's nothing after that. So if anything breaks this record, there's no more seconds to be invented. That's right. After the alphabet, what do you do? Numbers? That's ridiculous. Too many of them. What, uh, 247, 247 seconds? Makes no goddamn sense. No. Anyway, all right. On, on to the next uh, head. That's good. Spooky. Yeah, this, is, this is right proper for the season. A spooky blood snow invades the Antarctic island. Now, this is kind of a, a limited time event, kind of like so many Taco Bell menu items, uh, you know, for the season. You know, Antarctica, not a lot of uh, tourism there, obviously. It's very cold. No one really wants to go there. Uh, so they're trying to spice it up, you know, bring some kind of touristy attraction deal. Uh, and blood snow is the event uh, they kind of got going on right now. That's right. They're trying to jump on with their, their own types of holidays, and they decided to take it right after Halloween. Uh, I would have personally started with another... Uh, holiday, uh, maybe like a 4th of July in the Antarctic. You get more colors that way and a little bit more patriotic. Uh, the, I want to go with Halloween because it's already scary enough down there. Polar bears and shit. Eh, why are you trying to scare me even more? Polar bears <laughs> make enough of their own blood snow. I, actually, I'm going to point out, I hate to do this, but the polar bears aren't in the Antarctic. And I think that's a big part of why they're doing this campaign. The only thing scary if you could even call it scary in the Antarctic, is penguins. Ah, that's right. That's right. The goddamn emperor, emperor penguins, a, a monarchy down there, yeah. not regular keeping up with Arctic, the times. Regular Arctic already had it sealed, you know, with the with spooky and, you know, it melting. 
you know, in the Antarctic, they're trying to find something else. And unfortunately, penguins, a lot of people don't think they're scary. Uh, let me tell you the truth. Those are some of the damn scariest things I've ever seen, all right? They're birds, all right? You don't think of them as birds, but they're secretly birds. And anything that's like disguising itself as if it wasn't what it is, is suspicious to me and scares the hell out of That's right. Anything that is so goddamn brave to grow some wings and then not fly with them has a lot of fucking cojones, if you know what I mean. Like a snake that doesn't grow fangs. I wouldn't mess with that. They just yeah, strangle you. Because what else does it do, you know? that It makes you ask the question. If it's not right. going to poison you, how is it going to do something to harm you? Is it going to demoralize me? Is it going to insult me? You know, maybe it's going to make fun of my fashion senses. How am I going to recover from that? The, a snake doesn't even wear any clothes. Yeah. All right, Ian. Well, that's it for the uh, the news of the week. And that was uh, the real fake news from Down Under.